Capitol Hill now, where the GOP is scaling back its agenda, focusing on basics like funding the government, raising the debt limit, and striking a deal on immigration. Amid concerns, the party won't be able to muster enough support to dismantle programs like Obamacare ahead of the midterms. Joining us now, Brian Streeter, the Director of Domestic Policy Studies at AEI. Midterm years are never necessarily easy um, for any legislative agenda for the majority. Uh, do you think that the Republicans have the right idea that they not try to do welfare reform going into this year? I think there's a way that they can actually do welfare reform. You're right. It's a, it's a controversial issue, and I think a lot of that has to do with the way they've set it up. Um, typically, when Republicans talk about welfare reform, they talk about getting people off of welfare. And uh, instead of talking about what they're trying to do about getting people into jobs, I mean, mm -hmm. welfare reform should really be about getting people attached to the labor force, getting them into better jobs, getting them into better job training so that they can experience you know, a step up in the American economy. That's what welfare reform should be about. And I think they could actually continue to make steps to make the social safety net mm -hmm. uh, the kind of uh, safety net that gets people into work, which, by, by the way, um, uh, not just in a, a majority of Americans, but a majority of people living in poverty think that the goal of our welfare system is to help people move into work and live independently. So if you had your druthers, what would you think would be a good domestic agenda going into this year? I mean, one of the things that the Republicans said coming out of that meeting that they had with President Trump at the at Camp David is that they know they need to do, continue to do the job of selling tax reform to the American public. They do need to continue to do that. They really haven't done that great of a job until now. But I do think that as the uh, economy continues to improve and the effects of the tax bill are felt uh, by households, I think that sales job gets even, even easier. Um, and look, I understand it's tough with the 60-vote threshold in the Senate to try to make progress on, on major reforms. Um, but it's been done in other countries. Uh, across the, the ocean in the United Kingdom, they've collapsed six welfare programs into one sliding scale benefit. And one of the results of that is they've seen um, people looking for uh, increases in people looking for work to the tune of 86 percent, where that just didn't happen in the, in the previous welfare program, which, which was more like the, the kind that we have. So I think a, a positive message about helping people who aren't working at the level that they want to be working at, not earning what they want to be earning, to have a, a reform program that, that actually helps people's lives improve is, is something that they could actually talk about. Um, although I, I have my doubts that that's what they're going to pursue this year, and they'll probably go for something a, a bit more modest. One of the things that President Trump did today, we've been talking about it all hours, he allowed the cameras to come in and, and basically record an entire discussion about immigration reform, a little bit also on, on the spending deal that they have to get to and when it comes to military readiness and making sure the troops have all that they need. Um, given that, do you think that there's a possibility that they could actually get something done? Unlike you know, yesterday, I, wanna, I won't play it necessarily, but yesterday Senator Schumer was on the floor of the Senate complaining that the White House often makes, uh, makes the deals too hard to get to at the end of the day. felt like today the president was saying, okay, I think that actually we could do this, and I think he will enjoy the good press that he's going to get because of it. That's a good point. I think there's a way to get some of these things done. The immigration case is a great, great example. I think one of the problems that, that members of Congress run into is trying to pursue immigration as a comprehensive package. Look, personally, I think comprehensive immigration reform makes a lot of sense for a lot of reasons, but trying to get everything done at once is, is really hard. And so in the current instance of trying to, to find mm -hmm. a compromise between border security and, and DACA, and pe people that came into the country when they were, were children, children, you can actually find enough agreement there, I think, on those two issues to get a deal. It's a lot harder now than it was a generation ago because people are so polarized in the mm -hmm. parties. But where the American people are, it actually shouldn't be that hard. If people were in Congress were voting right. like where the American people are, getting a deal between DACA and border security should actually be pretty simple. Indeed. All right. Ryan Streeter, thanks for joining us today. Glad to be with you.